the test, right? Test, right? Uh, not the test. Are you going to have any mock-up test? Just wondering. Mock-up test. Don't have a mock-up, nope. Jump right into the real thing. So we'll let you do it first? <laughs> 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 the, right. the first two tests are great. Or not the You can take it twice, but for some reason you don't pass yeah. the first time. Yeah. 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 As long as we have four sprints, I'm quite pretty fine. Yeah. You can put some twice for free. Our experience is saying that, like last time we had roughly 20, 22, 23 people, and there was nobody who didn't pass, right? Uh, but there are people who did not pass. <laughs> Every time you say that, yeah, it's except one or two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 the pressure. So the goal is like this for five o'clock. One of them, right? After taking the test, get into CSM. Yeah. Then you want to go home? Yes. 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 Now, here's an important piece, which is daily scrum, right? We didn't get a chance to talk about it. Um, why do we need to meet daily? It's basically any, any impediments or anything, if you have any issues, then we can address that daily. Status update. I identify roadblocks. Identify roadblocks. Status update. Progress. Yes. Progress. Yes. 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 Uh, or status reporting, but the idea is for the team to reflect where we are and how we are reaching our goal, right? So, um, the three questions, the three great questions, right? What we did yesterday, what we doing today, and what is blocking us. Yes. Now, when you say what you did yesterday, sometimes it sounds like you're micromanaging or you're saying, tell me what you did as if you know you didn't do anything. So the positive spin to that is, hey, what did you learn? Yesterday? Right, and uh, what is the right thing to do today? I just wanted to point out that um, some of what you're talking about is in, in the workbook on, uh, yeah. on page 49. 49, thank you. So page 49, friends, if you can just open that, we have a little bit of a And the key point here is, where is the learning? The learning is in the team, no idea, right? right? And you emerge from the team. And when we talked about the principles of Agile, or the 12 principles and the values, right? That's what we're seeing. Team is self-organizing. They'll organize together and learn that experience, right? So that's the purpose. Now, um, so what is daily scrum? A meeting for? So what we learn, you know, what we learn and what, I'm, what we are going to learn. Very good. What we learn, how are we doing, what we intend to do, taking that forward. What is it that is blocking so that my friend here can help me, right? If my friend here cannot help me, maybe we need some help from outside which we can bring in, right? That's the idea. So should it happen uh, every day? How is this different from a status meeting? Because it sounds like basically you, your questions are surrounding the same thing. the overall status. Um, How do you distinguish the two? So status is more like, you know, um, what has been done at the project level, right? And what is happening um, with respect to schedule time, typically in the uh, traditional project management, right? How many requirements you finished, blah, blah, blah. But here you see the sense is more about figuring out where the team member is individually as a part of the team and what is required to further improve it.
So, yeah, I think of it, it's definitely not a status report to anyone. As a team, you're not making a status report to your Scrum Master or to anyone else. You're collaborating with your team members to figure out how can we help each other to deliver the most value in this sprint. How do we need to adjust our plan? Who needs help? What's getting in our way? How can we get the best possible result at the end of the sprint? Can I answer? That's the purpose of it. Um, in a traditional status meeting, we are talking about what did we do yesterday and what do we plan to do today, right? And if anything is stopping us. It sounds similar, but in this one, they are talking about what did we learn since the last status meeting, which is the scrum meeting. What did we learn since yesterday? And how are we going to apply those today? And what is the what are the things that you're gonna be working on today? And what are the things that that you learned from yesterday that stopping you from achieving the goals? So you're not talking about where are you in, in the project timeline. Have you finished it or not finished it? But you're talking about what did we learn from the, the work that we did yesterday? So so there's two really key points that make this much different than your daily status meeting. This is a stand-up meeting yes. and it's 15 minutes versus in the PMI world, it's usually an hour meeting where we're sitting down at a table discussing things. Rarely do we stay on task as we get into all these other ones. This is a focused 15 minutes. When you're standing for 15 minutes, people want it right there. They don't want to stand there, there yeah. forever. So it's quick, direct, and then you move on. Now there are things that come out of it, like when I have my daily scrums, that we have to have more discussion on like okay that goes to the parking lot we'll set up a separate meeting for that but here, here's the 15 minutes and it really breaks down about five minutes for each area and then you move on and think about it you have seven members or nine members and you have 15 minutes it has to be very crisp it cannot be an issue meeting it cannot be a status meeting you're not telling anybody there's no stakeholder even if the stakeholders come they cannot talk right they have to stand and listen only the team talks right so the idea is that every day you meet, let's say 9.30, right? And you meet here at this place. And we all stand up, the team members, and talk. And everybody, everybody has to speak. It's not just three people speaking. Everybody in the team speaks what they've done, what, they, what help they need, and what is you know, uh, the problem. Do so you point out people? You say, okay, it goes down the table. It goes around the table. It's around the table, right? Yeah, yeah, many ways yeah, of doing it. You can have a ball, uh, right? You can roll the ball around, right? So I can, I can okay. suggest a way that I like to do it so that it uh, doesn't just go around each person, which makes it more like a status report. What I like to do is stand in front of our scrum board. So like over here, we know what's in the backlog, what's doing, what's done. We might have that in a tool like Jira. Um, have that in front of the team so you can already see what the different tasks are and who's doing what. So we don't have to report on who's doing what. We start at the top of that and say, this is our most important thing to get done as a team. Team, what do we need to do to get that done? Is anyone stuck on anything? Can anyone else help out? So we can get that one most important thing across the goal line and into the done column. We want to celebrate and, and be focused on getting things across the goal line into the done column. That's an awesome thing when that happens. So focus on that. Um, from the top to the bottom of your priorities. How do we get these things across the goal line done? And if this is the meeting where you synchronize and they say, yeah, I'm done with that, so you can just move it up. Yeah, so let's, if we place. finish it in the middle of the day, then I would expect you could update it right then, right? Okay. You don't have to wait till the meeting to update mm -hmm. the scrum board. And update. also, uh, the, whatever you learned uh, during the previous sprint, that is going to help you uh, with the, the backlog. Yeah. Because initially you might have estimated like as a medium size, which is like eight points or uh, 16 points. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as you learn, it shouldn't take the same amount of time because you already invested uh, the time in learning how to do it. Very good. So whereas, whereas uh, the project, uh, the regular uh, project management, you fix uh, size, mm -hmm. always like 15 days or 20 days, you're not going to change it. Maybe your actual time uh, uh, is going to be, early you can finish it, but you're not going to change it. But here you can change the, the size. And also it is in line with the agile principle, inspect and adapt, right? So you inspect things when you're meeting together and you're adapting based on what you're learning, right? So this is a classical <coughs> case where every day you can learn and move, right? Also I heard the word attendance, right? Sometimes you feel that uh, there's one person who's not there at all, right? Or comes late. Yeah, every day. Every day, you know, right? But you want to talk to your entire team. So at 9.30 when you have 
uh, this meeting every day, then everybody knows that. Visibility, right? And then we say, um, we are respecting everybody. So we try to figure out, hey, what's going on? Why is it that Mike is late every day? Instead of, you know, um, coming after him and blaming him, we try to figure out what's going on so that we can help Mike. And you remember, Scrum is a framework. So, I, I mean... Is that your wife? <laughs> so, it, 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 it's a framework for my construction. I had another question. He wants to find out if it's anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> In your construction world, you were saying, so can I give you the money? What happened? <laughs> Sorry, Chris, so, so in the construction world, I had another five minutes to, to where we discuss safety issues. So we've got, you know, what have you done yesterday? What are you going to do today? What are the roadblocks? What are the safety issues? Because we're all in safety harnesses. What safety issues do we see that we foresee that I need to, that's a roadblock, but it's a little bit more of a special. So that's where I take the framework and I adapt it. That's a really good point. And also, if you have more discussions required right after the meeting, you can meet and discuss that, right? But in that meeting, it's very quick, it's very crisp, and you want to get the work done that is understanding what's going on in the project and what each team member is contributing, you know, and maybe write it on the board, right? So that there's visibility, there's attendance, there is contribution, there's engagement, and there is, you know, a, a positive environment of learning. Any questions? Anything you want to add to daily stand-up meetings? If you have a larger team, does last does the meeting the meeting last longer than fifteen yeah. minutes? No. Sure. How large is the team? The teams cannot be more than seven plus minus two. Yeah, so so we're talking about maximum team size of nine. Yeah. Yeah. The one of the, the requirement is X frame yeah. program. Yeah. Okay. Right? What about the situation where they're not necessarily just because doing something modified? It's a cookie cutter process that they go through, implementing a VPN, for example, yeah. to a customer so, site. So, in Michael's case here, he says, what if, what if um, you're not, if there's not much learning, you're doing something you've done a bunch of times? This might be a really short meeting. Maybe in your mm -hmm. case, it's a three minute meeting. We just check in with the team and say, does anybody have anything important to share? Does anybody have any roadblocks that they need help with? Maybe somebody did learn something and said, oh, you know, I found this new trick on how we can configure this network router thing here. It's really cool that I want everybody else to know about it. Maybe you're done in three minutes, that's fine. But if it's 15 minutes or less, so if it's less, that's fine. You don't have to fill up the 15 minutes with idle chatter. So yeah. it's a, it's not just minded agile, the reduction of meetings is the goal. It's not to be in the PMI world where we have these hour long meetings or two hour long meetings. We really we generate a lot of documentation, but who really reads it? Who really retains it? Where do you actually use it? And Agile is about how do you break down the barriers? How do you improve the flow of communication? And a lot of it is the Scrum meeting, and it's rather than doing an hour long meeting. So you, you, you cut down your meetings and you increase your productivity. So there's a part of me that's questioning whether a daily scrum is even a value. When you get to a point, when you get to a point where your team is pretty efficient and they know what they're doing and they're doing it, like I was telling you, single point teams where everyone just kind of knows what they're off to do. So at that point, even a three minute meeting will see your work. So try it out. So I would like, say, you know, try it. If it turns out that it's not, then maybe maybe you don't need it in your case. If, you're, if your folks are really specialized and independent and there's not much information to share between people, then maybe it's not necessary. Maybe try it once well, again. Well, so, so sometimes for some of my applications, it might be able to at the end of the day, yeah. the beginning of the day, because of the type of work. That's a good point. Um, Remember, this is a framework. So how do you apply the framework to have to apply your situation? And it gets back to one of our you know, core principles about self-organizing teams and close collaboration. So that's the intent behind it. We want frequent collaboration and close collaboration with team members. So if the team decides to be at 5 o'clock in the evening every day, that's fine. That's the team's decision. But every day, if I give you more to talk about, too, because you've got. Some, sometimes, so for me, sometimes having it at the end of the day is about the roadblocks that I need to remove before the next day. Mm -hmm. And because my day gets so busy during the day, and based on how we do construction, there may be I've got a back hole in the way, and I've got all this other stuff I've got to get it out of the way. So. That's where I start juggling with other project managers after hours to get things done. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, friends, I think that's pretty much it yeah. about uh, daily scrap. Scrap. Yeah.